Here's problem 14, 5. Air within the funnel of a large tornado may have a pressure of only 0.2 atmospheres. What is the approximate outward force on a 5 meter by 10 meter wall if a tornado suddenly envelops a house? One atmosphere is 10 to the 5 newtons per meter square. So let's say you have a house, a house here. and you have a tornado and there's a lot of updraft in a tornado so on the inside of the tornado let's call this pressure one it might be 0.2 atmospheres while the house is equilibrated with the environment around so inside the house the pressure is one atmosphere so there's going to be a pressure difference between the inside of the tornado and the outside of the tornado. And the force that will be pushing on the wall will be equal to that pressure difference times the area of the wall. In this case, the area of the wall is given as 5 meters by 10 meters, or 50 square meters. Hence, the force is going to equal pressure 2 minus pressure 1 change in pressure times the area which will be one atmosphere minus 0.2 atmospheres and we're told to say that one atmosphere is 10 to the 5 newtons per meter squared times the area of the wall and that is equal to 4 times 10 to the 6 newtons so that is 4 million newtons of force on that wall something you wouldn't be able to uh, withstand four million newtons of force because of the pressure difference between the inside of the tornado and the house itself. They used to say to keep the windows open uh, on a house so that it could equilibrate the pressure on the inside with the outside, but the uh, tornado moves way too fast for that equilibrium to ever take place. So it probably still would maintain a pressure of about one atmosphere even with the windows open. So uh, it's so really, uh, probably just keep the windows closed so you don't have that flying debris and, and hurt somebody that way. So that's our answer, 4 million newtons.